The mayor's office and the corrections FOP have reached a tentative deal to increase the pay for officers. The contract would raise the starting pay to more than $44,000 a year and give current officers an 8% raise. That's in addition to 2% raise that they'll receive next July and other incentives already in the works. FOP President Daniel Johnson says he hopes these steps will help with staffing, but acknowledges some members are concerned it doesn't do enough for retention because the starting pay is close to what experienced officers are making. It's certainly a step in the right direction. Uh, I think it will help get some people in the door, but I think it's also going to push some people out the door, maybe even some folks that weren't thinking about leaving. But if you're going to hire somebody in, the same thing I've been here for 10 years going through, you know, it doesn't recognize what they've been going through day in and day out working the 16 hour shifts. The contract also includes steps to improve accountability with reforms similar to the ones in the Metro Police contract. The Metro Council will have to approve the deal and they're expected to start those discussions next month. And today, Metro Corrections Director Dwayne Clark answered questions from the Metro Council members about the three deaths in the jail last week. Clark revealed that he's asked for a federal civil rights investigation into one of those deaths, but didn't specify which one. Basically, it'll be done by the FBI, and that's pretty much all I can say on that. FOP President Johnson believes the series of deaths are due to that lack of staffing at the jail. In the two cases where the inmates were found unresponsive, Corrections says there were seven officers working the floor and one sergeant.